Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm continuing in the Eat Like a Gilmore cookbook and I've started the next chapter in that. And the next one is the cocktail, mocktails, and other beverages. This has a lot of alcoholic drinks in this chapter, but there are some ones that don't have alcohol. I was going to do all the cocktails in one video, but I decided for various reasons that it makes sense to do them one video at a time. So today we're doing the birthday girl. And if you remember, Emily Gilmore threw Rory a 21st birthday party, very fancy in her house. And she had the bartender make a special cocktail just for Rory, which was the birthday girl. And so we're going to make it. We're, I got all this stuff together. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to show you what I got and come back and talk to you when I'm done. Okay. So on the dish on the right there, I already have some water. And we're going to put some sugar on the other dish for dipping the glass. Now I just dip the glass first into the water and then the sugar to make a beautiful sugary rim. Now we're going to add ice to the shaker until it's halfway full. Now you need three ounces of vodka. I used a shot glass and kind of just eyeballed it. You might want to use your own way of measuring, whatever you're comfortable with. Now you need one ounce of grenadine. And one ounce of pineapple juice. and one ounce of champagne. I put in one extra splash because of the bubbles. This is where I messed up a little bit. Instead of opening the strainer portion of my shaker, I actually opened up the whole thing and I got a couple ice cubes in my drink. So it's not exactly how it was supposed to look, but I still think it looks pretty and it still worked out for me. And of course, garnish with a cherry. Well, that's good. With the sugar on the rim, it cuts the acidity of the alcoholic a lot and it tastes really good. It definitely tastes like a birthday girl drink. In fact, I think I might make these for my next birthday girl party. It's so good. Okay, so that was really easy and really fun. And after I took several more sips of that drink, I realized it was delicious. Very sweet. The cherry and the pineapple gave it th that cotton candy flavor that it told you in the book that it would have. Very, very sweet drink. You probably couldn't, besides getting a sugar high, you couldn't have very many of these. And it was very strong with all the vodka and 
the champagne in it, but it was delicious. And definitely something you might want to have ready for your next girls' night out. The serving that I made, or the serving the recipe, I mean, it's just one glass here. And maybe my glass was too small for, I don't know, maybe I need a bigger glass. But it definitely was enough for two drinks, at least, in that um, shaker when I poured it out. And it wasn't expensive. I just got a little bottle of vodka, a little bottle of champagne, and was able to make it and it tastes just fine. I'm sure some of the more top shelf stuff would make it even more delicious, but I'm happy with what I have. So I hope you enjoyed following along with me, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'm linking the book down below in the description, um, plus some of the things that I use, like my pretty shaker and stuff. So if you want to know where to get those, that's down there too. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.